In addition to uploading images, you can upload any type of file to use in your course content. One method to upload files is to use the Files link in the left-hand navigation menu. Surprise! It turns out that the images and files are stored in the same area on Canvas. What you see here is the Course Files folder. You could dump all your files into that folder, but it would be wrong. Just as wrong as putting all your files on your desktop. Instead, you have folders and subfolders. And it makes sense to do the same in Canvas. Let's add some folders. Week 1, Learning Styles. And another folder, Week 2, Personality. Then, select the folder you want, and upload. You can select multiple files by holding down the control key as you click. Let's go to the folder for week two and upload some files there as well. And back to our main folder. You can also upload a zip file. When you do that, Canvas will ask you if you want to keep it compressed or if you want to expand it. I suggest that you expand it, because that will be as if you uploaded each file individually. Now that you have your files, you need to make it easy for students to find them. You can put them in your modules, one after another. We can add, file, and again use control to select multiple files. Another approach to adding files to your course is to create a new page, which we'll call Files for Week 2, and edit it. Add some words. Here are more materials about the true colors metaphor and start a bulleted list. Add the text for the links highlight the words that you want to link go to files and select the appropriate file. And do the same for the other link. Then save and publish. Let's see what this looks like to a student. When a file is included in a module, Students will see a preview of it, and they also will get a link to download it for themselves. Here's another preview with its download link. And when the links are in a page, the students can click the link for the download, or click the icon following the link to get a preview of the document. To summarize, create directories in the Course Files folder that coordinate with your modules. Upload files to the correct places. Insert the files into a module or create a page with links to the documents.